What's good, YouTube? This is Xwagoon here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Today, we are going to be taking on Team Aqua over at the... That museum thing? I think it's a museum. And, uh, with any luck, we should end up around Mauville today. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, if you've noticed, we have some huge, 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 huge team changes down to the bottom there. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what exactly is going on. So we're going to go through our team really quick. Uh, pretty much everyone evolved except uh, Peligod. I have a feeling he'll be evolving within the next few episodes. Because uh, level 25 and stuff. I think it's level 25. Anyways, we got Matang at level 21. He knows Confusion, Iron Head, Zen Headbutt, and Iron Defense. We got Mariana at level 19. He knows Thunder Fang, Howl, Sand Attack, and Bite. We got Zigswagoon. At level 20, he knows Tackle, Growl, Tail Whip, and Head, but by far the absolute best move set I've ever seen. Pally got at level 20, he knows Water Gun, Water Pulse, Supersonic, and Wing Attack. We got Grovile at level 22, he knows Pursuit, Mega Drain, Absorb, and Quick Attack. And finally, we got Swallow at level 22, and he knows Peck, Aerial Ace, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack. <clears throat> So, yeah, there was a lot of grinding being done off screen and all that fun, fun stuff. So, yeah. Just, uh, <clears throat> a lot of changes, a lot of changes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to exit the Pokemon Center now. And, ooh, wow, it is, uh, it's pretty out. It's very red. It's almost creepy. I guess we can deal with it for now. Uh, what is it? We go here yet? No, I'm a bit confused. I think. I think we need to. Uh, yeah, we need to go talk to the person in here. First things first. I think it's in here. Oh, nice! Automatically just starting up the script. Um, if this goes here and that goes over there, then what about this thing go? This do hickey. Ah, I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm, you. I'm sorry, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up some designs for a fairy. Oh, those parts you have. Those are the Devon parts. But, hmm, this won't do. Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic... Oceanic, yeah, I think that's about right. Museum again. I'm sorry, but could I ask you to find him? Captain, give him the parts to him? Yeah, that's no problem. No problem at all. So, we're gonna go over to the museum now. Uh, should, uh, Team Aqua should no longer be there. Yep, 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 they've all entered. And now the game is gonna force us to pay money for no good reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we have a choice to pay $50. I wonder what would happen if, like, you somehow managed to not be able to obtain $50. Like, you know, you just play the game, you freaking use up all your money, you use up all the money that you obtain from trainers. Like, does it know that? That is a good thing to test one day. As then the game would be unadvanceable. It would be ridiculously difficult to get to. It might and may even not be possible, but we'll, uh, whatever. So I'm pretty sure this is the captain. Yes. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare our expedition at last. <laughs> Hold up a moment. We'll be taking those. Wh wh who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants the parts for the case, so shut your yap and fork it over. Wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty rude. So, uh, we're gonna take out Team Aqua really quickly, and we can, uh, check those parts. Yo, catch a bunch of iron heads. Nah, am I gonna use, uh, nah, I'm gonna try out, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna iron head him, because why the hell not? I probably should have used, like, Confusion or something. It doesn't really matter, even though, because, you know, rough skin, but, like, the amount of damage it's gonna do, again, was pretty pathetic. Oh. Okay. 
I think I might have over grinded a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? It works because we'll be able to sweep everything and get a lot more gameplay than me having more battling. So that definitely works out in our favor. Oh, damn. Well, um... I almost feel bad for them. Almost. Alright, there we go. And he's about to send out Carvana. We're gonna keep battling. And you know what, just for fun, let's use Confusion, because you can just leave. Oh, right, right, right. It's, uh, what do you call it? Dark type. Dark type. Forgot about that. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, bop him with an iron head. Get out. Goodbye. Get out. Team Aqua is now down. I'm pretty sure we just took out all of Team Aqua right there. He beat the 27th strongest grunt in Team Aqua. N now what do we do? If we don't get that case, we're in for it. Ugh, I never thought we'd be stopped by some meddling kid. Insert oh shit here. Now, what do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long to steal a few parts and I find that you simps beat by this kid? Heh. <laughs> it's quite a fierce expression on a wee little scamp. That face tells me you're not just another mindless trainer brat. The name's Archie. A rough looking lot like y you see here are members of my team. Team Aqua. So, tell me boyo. Do you know what that Pokemon and people are all that life in this world that depends on the sea for life? That's right. The sea is an irreplaceable treasure for every living thing on this planet. But with our selfish extravagance, humanity dirties the great ocean, destroying the source for all life. Day by day, we're all destroying our most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions, well... Maybe we'll just end up getting what we deserve. But what about the Pokemon in our world? The Pokemon that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas. The Pokemon that won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow. We are creating a world in which innocent Pokemon suffer as a result of our actions. And that is, some that is something I cannot forgive. That's why I came to a decision, see? The foolish actions of my fellow humans, the seas, we have blighted nature itself, and returned everything to its unspoiled beginnings. Heh. <laughs> it's not like me to talk so much. Never mind, little scamp. I'll withdraw for now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again, and you won't walk away on scav the next time. Remember that at le least. We're moving out, lads. Young man. Ah, Vincent, is it? That was a quite tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, yes. I almost forgot that you brought the parts from Devon. Damn right we did, and we went through hell to get them. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this, I and excuse me. Get out. So it's not like we just, like, we're saving everyone's asses here today. That's basically like the theme. We've just been literally saving people the last few episodes. Which I find slightly humorous, but you know what, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, um, even though we really don't need to... Actually, no, we definitely need to. We're gonna go over to the Pokemon Center. <clears throat> Cause we are, uh, gonna have to deal with May. You know what? No, with uh, Pokemon this overleveled, she's not gonna pose any threat at all. Cause uh, I've noticed in the past that this is like, th there's a good reason why I overleveled here. 
Uh, the main reason is right after this little gate right here, it gets a little bit more fierce in terms of uh, battling, especially with Mauville's gym. So I wanted to make sure I was over leveled to be able to handle all of that without a problem. Hey, that Lisa and Allie doing a shoot over there. Are you serious? Let's go. Oh, what's going on? Ermagerd. Hi, everybody. Lizzie. Lizia. I just want to make sure I get this right before I continue. Lizia. Lizia. There we go. Lizia here. Me and my Altaria. Allie. Have come to Slateport City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun. Well then, watch me as I dive right into it again today. Yeah! Dazzling, this is annoying. I'm not reading all of that. Lizia's Miraculous Contest Scouting. S Lol, they're all thirsty as hell. I'm just gonna skip this. This is just one big thirst fest. Oh, would you look at that? Some serious freaking storyline. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi! Oh great, my character is thirsty as hell too. Have you never joined a contest? That's just what I want to hear. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna be forced into a contest? Then let's go get the show on the road. This is the trainer I'm gonna scout today. And his name is... Vincent. When I took a good look, I can easily see Vincent is a powerful trainer with several badges of his own already. Vincent, you can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Contest Hall right here. Now, listen up. Because I don't just want to see you making your Pokemon strong, I want to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side of them to show off. So here you go, take these. This is a contest pass, which is the first thing anyone needs to take part in a contest spectacular. And this is one of a Pokeblock kit, which will let you make Pokeblocks for your Pokemon out of berries. So we got a contest pass, which we probably won't use. I don't intend on just laying it right now. I don't intend on doing any contest in the actual main storyline, unless of course we're forced to, which we aren't. I'm 90% sure, because we weren't in any of the other games, so I don't see why they do it here. And uh, Pokeblocks, maybe, but I don't see any contests being done in the uh, series. If I were to ever do contests, it would be in a different thing. So, yeah. Alright, and we got a Pokeblock kit. That is nice. Vincent's story begins today. Yep, and this chapter should be titled... I love how I'm just standing there, like, looking off into space. It even looks like I got a hunchback. That's hilarious. A sudden encounter. Miraculous contest scouting. My god, I look so freaking out of it. That's what I'd call it. Now, everyone out there watching, you'd better expect some great things from Vincent because I do. I am just not phased at all. That is it for today's Lysia's Miraculous Scouting's Con- Miraculous Contest Scouting, rather. I'll see you all next time. And... Only one person leaves. I'm really feeling it. Wow, that was stupid. Just gonna... I, I like the tiptoeing thing way too much, to be honest. It's hilarious. No, I don't care. Leave. Oh, Team Aqua. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. Wow, that's quite far. Why don't we take a rest in Mauville City? It's on the way. Great idea. I agree, it is a pretty great idea. I hate it when this happens. It's like, 
you see, you, you, he sees me, he's looking my way, he knows I'm right here. And like, he doesn't do anything until you just walk in front of him like that. Stupid ass. Ah, uh, hey Isabel. Get out. Oh, it's a plus hole. The tank smash! Spark? Okay. That really hurt. The tank smash! Really? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a psychic move now. Now I'm gonna use confusion because he has a lot more PP. And we got hit with the encore. And we're forced to use freaking iron. Good game. And Minum is being used now, so you guys already know what we have to do. I'm pretty sure we can, wait. Yeah, we can only use Iron Head, so. Here we go, Iron Head. Catch a bunch of Iron Head. <sighs> Stupid ass Orin Berry. Yeah, you enjoy that Metagross site. It's gonna be pretty useful. Um, thanks? That was nice of him. I mean, like... Good guy mine him. Good guy mine him. Oh dear, this won't do. And of course, we're gonna steal your money and hit the road. Is that like... I don't even know. So, maybe we'll get lucky? <laughs> Look at me. That is the stupidest thing I've ever said on this freaking show. Get lucky in a patch of grass. Just gonna wait for this guy to go through. Get freaking lucky in a patch of grass. We got lucky. We got lucky! Bruh! We got lucky! Shut the hell up, May. Shut up and take my battle. Alright, so the battle has now begun. May is starting off with a Whalmer. Whalmer is water type. Alright. We're gonna go in for the Zen headbutt, and we're gonna hit him hard. There we go. Was that a whirlpool? I think it was. Was that whirlpool? I think it was. I didn't see the text. Yeah, it was whirlpool. I thought so. Well, goodbye, Wilmer. You had a good dish run. It was not a good run. You got wrecked, mate. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna switch out. We're gonna send out Pelly God, because he want he needs the spotlight. And Water Pulse. Flame charge, not bad. And we're gonna go in one more time with the Water Pulse, and that'll be the end of Kabuskin. And Water Pulse! And that is it for Kabuskin. Probably God's gone up to level 21. Mariana is going up to 20. Of course, I'm gonna learn swagger. 
We're keeping our old moves. Screw squat swagger. Screw squagger. Swagger. Alright, what do we got left? Trimish? Yeah. We can send out Swallow. I mean, like, not like we have to switch out. I'm doing it because I want to. So, like, yeah. Uh, Swallow, go for the pack, true. Because why not? Oh, is that absorb? It don't matter. I ain't do jack shit. I could have, like, totally gone in for the aerial ace, but no. Reasons why I should use aerial ace to start with. Right there. It doesn't matter. We're not going to need Swallow for the rest of the time anyways, so it works out. Everyone seems to be getting levels right now. Oh yes, Leaf Blade. Uh, we're going to get rid of uh, Absorb. We don't need it. It's such a bad move, yes. We got Leaf Blade, thank you. May approves. Bruh, you're the freaking hardest trainer I've fought so far. And you give me less money and then the petty trainer I just beat over there with the freaking mine and then plusle. Yes, we have been training. Our teams are pretty tired. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and heal me up. Thank you. Oh, we deserve a reward. We get the dowsing machine. It's a dowsing machine. We get hidden items and crap. Wave it around. See you later. You're going pretty slow on that bike. Okay, what is it with this grass? I made it even farther than I thought I would have. Without getting into one Pokemon battle. That is insane. We're almost in Mauville too, so that's plus. I don't know what you are and I don't care. Though I'm putting my bets that it was like a Minim or a Plusle or something. So much hate. I'm gonna get out of this battle and then that trainer is gonna look at me. That's how this system works, you see? I'm gonna get out of this battle and the trainer is gonna look right in my direction because that's the way it works. See? I told you! That's how the system works! And it's just an Abra! Whatever. It's not like I have anything that can do that much damage in the first place, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use freaking Iron Head, so... Alright, yeah, Iron Head did the trick. I figured as much. Nice. Get out of here, Edward, you freaking jackass. You donkey. You freaking donkey. Oh, it's Wingle. Sup? I don't care. Leave. Like, you think they'd put... Well, I guess, yeah, I guess we're close enough to the water. I, I, I couldn't get away. That is one ballsy wingle. That is one ballsy wing. No, no, no. I need to put you in your place now. Bruh. Really? Really? No, 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 no. I need to put it in its freaking place. This freaking Wingle. This Wingle right here. This Wingle right here. Are you really doing this right now? In a crit? Thank you. Really? Really? I, 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 get out. Get out. 
and take your shit with you. Thank you. P pursuit. I, 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 I'm done. I just give up. It's the freaking Wingle. It, it, it just comes in. It, it doesn't let me run. It uses all of the hacks. If there was any form of hacks to be given, it was given. And does it care? No! Oh, look, it's Wally. Hey, Wally, what's good? Wow, so this is Mauville City. <laughs> you sure seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So, what would you like to do? We can go grab a bite to eat at the Mauville Food Court, or maybe we can get a bike from Rydell Cycles. Would you like that? I'd bet I'd exercise would be good for your health. No, thank you. I want to challenge the gym right away. What? Let me see. I'm pretty sure the gym is... Yep, straight this way, just through the inner courtyard. Huh, w wait, Wally! So, 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 Mauville is... Mauville is... So, Mauville is a mall? Mallville? Is Mallville... Mallville? Or, like, is, is this... Is this some sort of joke? It's Ma, Mauville, not Mallville. It's a freaking mall. It is legit ass a mall. What you do? Sup? Sup, mate. This is a move tutoring jo dojo. Got any Pokemon from a professor? It makes no difference. I gave him a really bad accent. What you do? Learn moves through dance? Um, um uh, no, I I'm leaving now. You're crazy. What, what, what's right here? Oh, that looks cool. It's really cool, though. Same old battles got you down? Turn it up. Inverse battle shock. You know what? I want to check that out really quick. What, what is this? Is this like... Like in that po uh, Pokemon X. Remember that? In uh, Pokemon X, somewhere near the end. Around, uh, around, around the caves. Trying to remember exactly where they said stuff about inverse battling. We had that one inverse battle where they completely wiped the floor with me. Yeah, is this like a place where you can just do those? The revolutionary inverse matic machine, the inventor created, can invert type mag. Yeah, it is that freaking inverse battles. Flip it on, and the fire-type fire, fire type moves become not very effective at all against grass-types. Oh, I see. Well, that's sure interesting. That would be fun to do one day, but not today. I'm gonna go find the Pokemon Center. I, I have an idea where it is, I think. Like, if he said the gym was straight through the courtyard, which is right there. Yeah, there's the gym. Uncle, I'm begging you, please. No, I just want to go to the Pokemon Center. I want to challenge this gym to see how much stronger I've become. Please, you'll let me, won't you? Now hold on, Wally. It is certainly true you've grown quite st a lot stronger alongside your Pokemon, but don't you think that jumping right into a challenge, a gym, may be pushing it? I'm not pushing it. If me and my Ralts, we could beat anyone. Ah, Vincent. Ralt and I have grown a lot stronger since we first met, growing together. I want to prove to you and my uncle both, Vincent. Please, help me once more. Have a battle with me. Yeah, I guess we're gonna battle him today. Alright, so I guess we're going to be battling Wally now. Oh my god, it's a shiny Wally. I need to catch it! 
Go, Matang. Destroy everything Wally believes in. Use Iron Head. Well, I've just crushed Wally's dreams. That is that is the face of defeat. Wow. You, you're really strong, Vincent. I'm just gonna leave now, says Wally. Ah, Uncle, I'll just go back to Birdie and Turf. Vincent, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? Not, it's not enough to just battle with your Pokemon. I can't become a true trainer like that. Not really. Wally, there's no need to get so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger? Nothing is. All you need to do is keep growing. Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Yes, Uncle. Vincent. I, I'm definitely gonna be get much stronger. Much, much stronger. I feel like I learned a lot from you. Just one Pokemon battle with you. About my own limits and Ralts's. So, um, that's why, Vincent, if it's alright, could I, could I call you my, ra I, ah, never mind, so sorry, it was nothing, please forget about it, G goodbye, see you later. It just dawned on me that you must have been the young man who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. So, it's you we have to thank for Wally becoming so positive about the future. Thank you. Ah, here, take this. I want you to have it. A bit of a thank you. Ooh, we got Rock Smash. The move that absolutely sucks and we only teach to Zigzagoons. Even if there are obstacles in your way, I think you'll be able to break through them, especially if you use this Rock Smash here. Except if they're really big boulders, you might need to move those. I'll head back now, but if we ever have the time, I'd love if you'd stop by at our home in Birdie and Turf. I'm sure Wally would enjoy it too. We'll look forward to seeing you. I'll look forward to seeing you too. So, um, where's the center? Like, really? Where's- No! Wait, maybe? Oh. Okay. That works. Well, I'm glad I did that then. We're gonna heal up really quick, cause why not? And there we go. And that is about it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I am really looking forward to the next episode, cause to be honest, we're getting pretty close to some of my favorite parts of the game. Uh, like, all of this part I see is like the intro to everything. From here on out, I feel like it starts to get a lot more interesting, especially, you know, just in general. So, I'm really looking forward to the next episode, and so on and so forth. And, uh, it's gonna be pretty freaking fun. So leave a like down below if you like today's episode, and leave a comment on just your opinion in general on the episode. And if you like my content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That is about it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm the Zigzagoon, and I'm out.